the recording. In the name of the Father, the, the Son of the, the Holy Son, Spirit, Son, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of the cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples do not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well, did I say a prophesy about you, hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Italian. The three pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, Jesus wants us to obey God's commandments with a sincere heart. Number two, God's word gives us knowledge of his truth and goodness. We must not misinterpret God's word with clever arguments to suit our selfish needs. An example, we may be selfish and unethical, but console ourselves that it is acceptable because everyone is doing it. Number three, do you listen to God's word and emulate his truth and goodness? Ask Jesus to enlighten our minds and purify our hearts so that we may walk in his way, ways of love and holiness. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Kitalin. Welcome. Yeah. So today's gospel, no, it's uh, getting clearer and clearer. No, no Jesus is uh, so famous, becomes so famous, but parang um in other words no um he is uh, now superstar so because of this no um because of this the, the pharisees become so jealous of him and and views of him and then what they're trying to do is to find fault find fault whatever jesus does they will they will really find fault like, so that they can they can you know they can complain against him no but Jesus knows their heart when they were when uh, when these uh, Pharisees asked Jesus like uh, how how come you don't wash your hands before eating? Jesus knows their hands that they are just they are like hypocrites. They are hip in, not like hypocrites. They are hypocrites. Jesus can read can read the, the uh, what is in their heart. So 
um, external worship lang sa kanila external ba uh, lip lip service lang na na they worship God but Jesus knows that by heart they are, they don't kaya nga kaya nga they're so envious they are so jealous of the instant fame of Jesus so if we if we if we read no and and the, the whole gospel no and if we know what's going on what is to come no um um the the um the ash wednesday which is the start of the lent no is very close two weeks na lang yata no two weeks next week oh, next week next week na ho next week 14. na so if if we know if if we are aware of what's going on in the life of Jesus no the more he heals now the more he he he, he drives away demons the more jealousy and hatred and on the part of the pharisees and that's and this uh, ash wednesday uh, starts the lenten season no start of the of the lenten season or uh, jesus being being uh, condemned so that that's a uh, that's plain and simple jealousy and envy so you know um let our hearts um, be clean our desires for for a good relationship with Jesus sincere, not just lip service, not just lip service, because Jesus knows what is inside our heart. We don't want to be like Pharisees, no na, ma, na, na Pharisees, no. There are modern Pharisees nowadays. There are modern Pharisees. They will teach you what to do, what to do, what what to do, and then deep inside them, they are not. They're not clean. They're not even clean. So let's uh, be careful, no? And um, let's let's just be sincere. How we worship God, we worship Him sincerely and glorify Him sincerely, and pray for pray to Him from the heart. Amen. 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 Actually, these are, uh, I'm sharing my realizations. Okay. First, Louisa, I found, I find that um, when we read the gospel for the day, diba, it's also good to read the, the readings, the first reading, because sometimes they are, they are connected. Connected. Yeah, but uh, this time they are not connected, but I like what I read in the first reading, and so I'm going to share my realization there. Um, when, when I had the blessing, the very, very gracious blessing from God to be able to go to the Holy Land in 2019, 2019, I haven't I haven't read the Bible that far yet. Okay, so everything that the tour guide who had a doctorate in theology or something uh, got into my mind, but I heard them. I sort of stored it, I guess, and now they are making sense because I'm reading the, the gospel. So Parang I'm able to fill in the blanks. Okay. So um, if we read the first the first reading today, it's about how uh, Solomon was finally able to finish the temple of God. Remember, uh, King David was asking God if uh, he will allow King David to put up a temple because he said, you are God Almighty and yet you are just staying in a tent while I, I am just a human king and I have a beautiful house. I have a beautiful palace. And God the Father said, it is not for you to build a house for me. It's not, it's not for you to build a house for me. Your Son will be the one to make the house for me. See, God always has a plan. Okay, so when 
Solomon became king, uh, the Lord God finally allowed Solomon to build the temple. And um, it had, if you read the Bible, it had very, very detailed instructions. So many cubits and so many very complicated. So, but anyway, if you read it, it will tell you that uh, it has this shell beam spread. Uh, the wings are like this, but beneath it to protect it, is what they call the Holy of Holies. That is the most sacred part of the temple, the Holy of Holies, because it is there where the Ark of the Covenant between God and man is being kept. And inside the Ark are the two stone tablets that God himself gave to Moses. Okay, so what, what do I like about this? It's because when that temple was blessed by Solomon, if you read it, I will read it so that I don't miss anything. Okay. He said, uh, listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The thing that struck me is this. Uh, the petitions that your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. I may be wrong, but I'm thinking that there is what they call the wailing wall in Jerusalem. There's a wailing wall. And I remember the guide telling us that that's the wall that really was put up by the Muslims to keep the Jews away because the Muslim now has control of the temple that was built by Solomon for God. So the Muslims are the one in control of the Holy of Holies. Although it's no longer there because Jerusalem had been what? Had been torn and uh, destroyed like 40 times and been rebuilt all the time. So all of these things are maybe buried and they may there. But uh, the historical as well as the biblical records uh, guided the people to determine where the location of the Holy of Holies must be. Nakabaon siya, pero alam nila na nandudoon. And so, they considered that as still the Holy of Holies. And dahil magkaaway nga sila, hindi pwedeng lumapit ang Jews. Hindi sila pwede kasi binalot ng, ng wall nung ano eh. So, the Jews are believing at pati na rin tayo na hindi hudiyo na naniniwala tayo kay Kristo, naniniwala tayo sa New Testament, Lahat tayo, pati na yung mga atheist yata, pumupunta na rin doon sa, sa wailing wall. Tapos, nila naglalagay sila ng kamay nila. Nagpipetition sila doon, nagdadasal sila doon. Iniiwan nila yung tiny bits of paper na nakalista yung kanilang mga petitions. Nilalagay nila doon sa mga cracks. Cracks. Ng wall. Okay? Talagay doon. Ganyan, siksik. Tapos nangangadahulog na yung iba kasi walang naman paglagyan yung mga bagong dating so kinakahig na lang yung iba at sisiksik yun sa kanila. Eh, what I'm saying is why do they have to go to the to the uh, wailing wall? Because they're holding on to the promise of God that when you pray, when you pray in this place, your prayers will be granted. Bakit naniniwala ang hudiyo na ganun ang mangyayari? Because right after the prayer na ganito ni, ni Solomon, okay, the priests couldn't continue with the offering because the entire place where the Holy of Holies 
is situated was covered with a thick cloud. And they realized that that is God. The presence of God is there. And that is why they really believe that the, that the um, Holy of Holies is where God is. And when you pray, God can hear you. God will listen to you. And because they, they have an agreement with Solomon that when your people Israel pray to you in this place, you will hear and we will grant pardon. So, yung mga Hudiyo, tumukunta talaga doon. That's the closest they can go to the Holy of Holies, yung Wailing Wall na yun. Tapos, yun namang, yun namang mga, mga Muslim, naniniwala rin sila doon. Kaya yung kanilang Mecca, doon din yung nakaharap. Kung saan yung, kung saan yung geographically, yung, kung saan yung Holy of Holies, doon sila nakaharap. Doon sila pag nagdadasal. So I think I think that's very interesting, no? And very reassuring na talagang may mga tao pala talaga na nakakita ng of course tayo mas blessed because hindi lang natin nakikita ang Diyos kung hindi nagiging part pa siya ng ating katawan every time we receive Holy Communion. Pero yung sa kanila na experience nila talaga na yung ano yung nakita nila naramdaman nila na dumilim okay tapos ganun so that's that's one and then in the in the bible in the gospel today um i would like to i would like to look at the the one that where jesus said that uh, You are hypocrites because you give more weight to the precepts that are set by man over the commandment of God. Na parang using using the name of the Lord in vain in effect. Ang ina ano? Eto ang kautusan ng Dios. Pero sinisir content nila actually. Yun ang ginagawa ng Pharisees. Sincere convent nila yun. Why? An example niya is yung fourth commandment, honor thy father and thy mother. And uh, nagsabi ang mga pari na ito that it's if a son okay, will go to the temple and uh give an offering uh, and consecrate it to God that is that can take the place of what he should be doing to support or to help his parents. Yung ganon. So in effect, in effect, sinasabi ng ano na ito, parang mas mat- mas ma powerful ang ginawa nilang substitution kaysa sa original na honor thy father and thy mother. Ang sinabi nila ay eh, pwede nang hindi na ninyo i-honor basta sabihin mo lang na yung binibigay ninyo sa temple ay para sa Diyos. Honor. But, yeah, but, but that's not what it is because the first three commandments are for honoring God. And the fourth one is for honoring the parents. And um, so, but more than that, I wanted to I wanted to to share this with you because I am realizing that parents sometimes out of uh, false pride, a okay, false pride or misplaced pride deprive their children of a way to observe the fourth commandment and to atone for their sins while they are still alive. Because Jesus himself said that the son who honors his father atones for his sins. And the son who honors his mother obeys God. 
So, if the parents are too proud to accept help from their children, okay, they are depriving their children of a way to honor them, of a way to comply with the fourth commandment, and of a way to atone for their sins. That's that's at least that's, that's my understanding. When I read this, I will, this is not my my sharing. When I read this, I took a, a screenshot of it and I sent it to my children. I sent it to my daughter and I said, "Here, I'm asking for a monthly ayuda because I wanted to be able to atone for you." <laughs> <laughs> Gasped so related. I did. I did. I did. I said because I wanted to have, I wanted to have a way of of observing the fourth commandment and also to atone for your sins while you are still living. So give me, give me my monthly. <laughs> so so yeah. I, monthly, I, I said, I said, Jotata and I had been very foolish and irresponsible for depriving you of this blessing from God. Kasi ayaw namin o na maging burden, maging ganyan, maging ganon. So now I said, now I am asking you to give us a regular monthly ayuda. <laughs> and my daughter said, For atonement oh, of your sins. <laughs> my daughter said, okay, where do you want me to send it? <laughs> because I said, oh, because I said, and I don't like your credit card. Because I cannot use that in the market. So, <laughs> I want cash. <laughs> credit <laughs> credit is good, okay. but cash is better. <laughs> anyway, that's my shift. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, of course. Thank you. <laughs> but I um, think. <laughs> Then, uh, Connecting the first reading by and the today's gospel and our modern life, no. Um, uh, you said about uh, what what was that again about the um, first reading to honor thy mother and thy father. No, uh, that's the gospel. Uh, uh, yung yeah. sabi ng ako na whenever we we pray in this place, yung sa holy of holies, yung ganon. Oh yeah, and they okay, and and they go to and and they go to that to that uh, part of the wall. No, now they pray and they the really wall. really have faith. They really have faith that they have to go there so that their prayers will be answered. No, mm -hmm. hanggang mm -hmm. ngayon, no, until now. Mm -hmm. But we are luckier because every day we don't have to go anywhere, but mm -hmm. but but just receive the Holy Communion in the mm -hmm. Eucharist because we receive Jesus. Um, physically, physically present in the bread in in the bread and wine. We are luckier. We don't have to go places and go go to to that place and uh, have our hands uh, leaning on the on the walls in order for our prayers to be granted. Mm -hmm. no, yes. We are we are luckier because we can we can find church anywhere, Catholic church anywhere, and receive the Holy Communion and ask for. Our petitions, so it's because it's that easy. Also, yeah, that that's also because uh, if we if we remember it, no, several times sa mga sa mga mga gospels natin, itong recent weeks lang. Sinasabi ni Jesus na for this I was sent, di ba? Sinasabi niya. Kaya pumunta siya sa mga iba ibang villages, hindi lang basta sa mm -hmm. Galilee, hindi lang doon sa Capernaum, di ba? Uh -huh. Kahit na maraming tao ang gusto sanang makahawak man lamang sa laylayan ng ano niya, ng road niya. Ang sinasabi, oo, sinasabi niya na for this, I was sent. Kaya pupunta tayo doon sa para marinig din nila ako. So that that is why yun nga ang ano niya. Yun nga ang ang um, ano in fact may nabasa pa ako noon na yan daw ang isang kinaiinggitan talaga ng evil spirit sa ating mga tao because we are able to receive 
God into us. Kaya lahat ng pwede mo lang gawin, itaharangan nila tayo. Ganun. Ah. Ganun. Yun ang ano nila. Ano? Kasi kung minsan magsimba ka na, bakit hindi pa matuloy? Mga ganyan ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. may mga may mga obstructions and obstacles bakit magsimba ka na uulan uulan ng bigla maganyan or malate ka or whatever so that's why we make it a habit no to pray the spiritual communion also yes spiritual communion It's uh, spiritually we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ spiritually. Yeah. And and uh, also faith your faith has healed you. Uh, we don't have to go places. Faith lang natin. Uh, amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you course. You're welcome. Anybody else? Yung mga audio na mapakaroon eh. More than, hundred, more than 500. 600 something yata eh. Yeah, or yeah, oh, 600 oh. or so laws. No? Uh-huh. Pero 10 lang ang, pina, ang sinasabi. Ang dami, no? Pina, they uh, let the people carry the burden that they themselves don't want to carry. Okay? Ayaw nilang sundin. Doon sa mga tao pinasusunod. Ayaw nilang baga sa kwan eh napakagulang. Hypocrites talaga. And, uh, ganun din tayo. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Imagine mo, 600 law, law no? o yung tawag yan na ginawa nyo. Man-made ang iba. How can you perform or obey all these laws? You cannot even remember them. Hindi mo na matatandaan yung dami na yun. Lalo na sa yung law of the Sabbath. Sampu lang naman binigay na yun. 613 dito man. From yeah. 10 oh, from 10 to 613. Yeah. 42 of Jewish. them agricultural. Yeah. Oh. Imagine. Imagine. Magawa eh. Kulang yan ha, how much more 600? Yeah. Burden ay burden na. Yeah. Burden. Burden. And un- until now, no, ito mga co- mga conservative and conventional um, Jewish, they follow. They mm-hmm. really follow. The Orthodox. Uh, um, Orthodox. So, um, itong mga kosher nila, mga ganyan. Hindi pwede mamix ang milk products and meat mga ganyan ba, mga kosher. This is like, come on. <laughs> Kaya nga siguro, um, ang wisdom ni Jesus, because of course, he has, he has the human component. No? So, he, he was able to empathize ba sa atin, no? kasi tao siya eh. Tao din siya. Oo, oh, siya. So, alam niya na, alam niya na mahirap, mahirap na magawa mo yun. So, what did he do? 
he made it easier for us oh, to understand. Mm -hmm. He made it easier for us to, to, to understand what it is really that uh, God wants us to do. In just two, madali mong gamitin na criteria. Very straightforward. When I do this, is this out of love for God? Or is this out of love for my neighbor? Pag hindi yun sa isa, dapat pumasok sa, sa pangalawa. Pag hindi siya pumasok sa either one, huwag mong gawin. Kasi ibig sabihin kasalanan. Di ba madali isang i-apply? Uh -huh. Kaysa sa memorizing mo ng pagkadami-dami. So out of this out of this omniscience, out of this wisdom talaga as a human being aware of all the weaknesses and the flaws of being human, binigyan niya tayo ng madali na guidelines to check kung tayo ba ay namumuhay pa ng ayon sa kagustuhan ng Diyos Ama. Ganun. Para tayo ay makapunta sa langit pag tayo namatay. Yun lang. Is it? Yes. It as, yeah, as simple as that. Yeah. Oh. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We ask that you would bless us and keep us in your care. May your peace, love, and joy fill our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys.